know how many of you guys feel this idea, but skincare is super important to me. I've actually been in talks with a couple people about developing my own face wash and face cream. Drop a little comment down below if you'd cop a skincare routine for me. Putting together right now a little get ready with me for my morning. Morning coffee runs are always, you know, a little comfy swaggy fit. Got a Bellwoods boxing gloves tee, size XL. Sometimes I like to wear it more oversized. These are a pair of sample pants, actually. I never really used this color. It's always there. They're the boxing waist pet. Next thing you gotta do is pick a, probably a fleece. Probably shouldn't be showing this hoodie because it's actually one of my favorites and I stole it from Kai. He, I don't even think he knows that I have it. Literally wear this hoodie a lot. I love it. It's a St. Michael hoodie. It's all like hand drawn on kind of shit. It's super fly. All right. It's been super cold here in the mornings right now. So we're going to rock the strawberry beanie. And you guys know that I really have problems with my left foot with the bunion, so I gotta wear this spacer between, it basically goes between my toes like that. So it stops my my big toe, this toe, from like overly going in. Um, the thing is that these don't last. I just order like packs of them off of Amazon, but they don't last very long. So I kind of have to keep reordering them and throw them out. It's not really like, it doesn't help the bunion on my foot. It kind of just prevents it from getting worse because I really want to avoid having to get the surgery. So something that I've been wanting to do more often, although I'll be honest with you, have not been that consistent with, is morning meditation. I've definitely meditated enough to the point where I can do it and I've been able to, you know, maintain a meditative state for at least, you know, four to five minutes or something like that. It's kind of weird. It's like this space in between sleep and like being awake. But I've definitely, every time I've done it, have felt incredible after. So we're gonna do a little bit this morning. I'm gonna do the meditation now, baby. Can I do the meditation now? Okay, we're gonna meditate together this morning. I'll start by kind of just, just kind of stretching out, moving out a little bit, moving around just a little bit. I have a foam roller over there. Sometimes I'll, I'll foam roll in the morning. But the main thing is when I'm getting into a position for meditating, I try to just get into a really comfortable position and not feel any discomfort in any areas. That way when I'm doing it, I don't like have my mind drift into like the discomfort area. And I always like to have something to support my back. So start with my hands here, completely relax and just feel like everything is just really soft, including my forehead, my cheeks, relax, relax my jaw, everything, all that. And I'll kind of just go into some yoga breathing, which is like building heat kind of like in your throat and in your chest. So obviously I'm, I'm not gonna fucking meditate with you guys watching me, so <laughs> I'm gonna turn this off, but truthfully I just try to find a place of just like stillness and emptiness and nothing. There's also an app that has helped me a lot with learning how to do this and it's called Calm. This is not a paid ad, but it's just an app that helps you meditate. So if you're wanting to learn how to meditate, the Calm app was great, but I'm gonna get about five, 10 minutes under my belt right now, then we're gonna go grab some coffee. It's crazy because I haven't been meditating that much at all. And when I am doing it consistently, it's just so much easier to do. I mean, it's literally like the same shit as working out. Like your mind is no different kind of than like a muscle, you know, you can train it. So, you know, meditating becomes easier and you can do it for a longer period of time. I'm not gonna lie, I had so many things just like popping up in and out of my head the whole time and I kept trying to just come right back to that center point and it was fucking difficult. But you know, nonetheless, we still got it done today and tomorrow I'm gonna try to do it again. All right, it's morning coffee time. You guys know we're about to do, but down this water, baby. And that was the last of it. Triple cappuccino on the way. We're gonna walk Kobe right now. 
get a little morning stroll in get intentional with them thoughts today because we're crushing today baby and then we got morning strength and conditioning with chris the grind don't stop baby i'll see you guys at brick house brushing dogs teeth you have to earn their trust right so by earning their trust you have to be gentle and think about it all right well if you were a parent brushing your child's teeth how would you get them to not hate it and that is to be gentle and therefore you earn their trust oh good boy buddy breath is so fresh All right, my body's a little cooked today, so we're just doing some more upper body shit. All that stuff I just show you is all warm up shit. So we'll always do like a warm up circuit first, a couple times around. We're in our first uh, first working circuit. This is how it goes. Push press. Yeah. Little knee bend. Head through the window. Hit. Lock out the elbows up top too. Good. Leg curls. Yeah. Hips drive up at the same time. Circuit number two. Pretty much 10 pounds since the beginning of December and my strength has just <laughs> completely dropped but I mean it's obviously expected you know when you're fucking running 90 to 100 miles a month this month is probably gonna be about a hundred if not more yeah was well, this this month will be definitely over a hundred miles so the strength is gonna continue to drop that's why I'm in the gym I'm still trying to just hold on to whatever I can you know, glute bridges, because my fucking ass is literally non-existent. Genetically, it already doesn't hit, so, you know, got to do the glutes. Train the glutes, got to keep them, because when you run, you just basically completely lose your ass. Chest, genetically, also doesn't really hit for me, so I got to work extra hard to have a chest. Overall, it's still good. I still put up 205 for 10 reps today at the end there, so I was happy with that. But you guys know the deal. Heading home getting ready showering up getting changed and we're heading to work i said to myself for a while i'm like i don't really know what to vlog like this whole past month to be honest i've been on this routine that i've just been vlogging and a big part of me was like you know i don't really want to vlog it because it's so repetitive and you know i want to keep you guys entertained you know i try to show you guys the stuff that you want to see but you know i feel like a routine based type of daily vlog i feel like it's good because you know a lot of you guys are your mid late 20s some of you 30s maybe older younger but you know the majority of you i want to say are between 25 and 35 and these are crucial years to build those healthy habits you know that make days like today which is a workout work make meals for yourself sometimes train twice a day it makes them easier just by building these habits and you build these habits through consistency and discipline i feel like this type of stuff is good for those who are interested in you know wanting a good future or better future for themselves you know but i gotta get some gas then i'm gonna meet you guys at home show you what i'm having for brekkie this is the downside of driving a car like this fucking big ass beast to be honest that's actually not even that bad 105 bucks or whatever it was for the tank like 
For this car is not bad, yo. Deadass, I swear, I've seen it get up to like 165 when gas prices are fucked. This thing is insane. This doesn't really help that in LA there's like a lot of hills and stuff like that. And I spend a lot of time on the highway. For a while I was holding off, you guys remember, on getting a new car and I've had this car now for like four months and fuck, I literally love this fucking thing. I've realized that having a nice car here in LA for me is really important, more than back in Toronto or smaller cities because you spend so much time in your car here, you're just literally always driving. Another thing too about that is like a lot of people will hate and be like, oh, like LA, everything is so far. It is, but you kind of, like, I find therapy in, in driving. Like, as long as you're not hitting traffic, I stay away from rush hour. Driving in LA, like, look at the fucking scenery. Like, look, look at what I'm looking at, what I'm driving. You know, there's mountains around me. It's fucking blue sky. The weather is amazing. Always a good excuse to blast some fucking music. Another beautiful thing about LA living is, like, you could take a 30 to 40 minute drive and be in a whole new city that looks like you're in an entire different place. A lot of people will say negative things about LA and then, oh, pff, bro, another thing that fucking is so annoying to me. Yeah, I, I like LA, I just don't like the people. I just don't like the people. Bro, there's shitty people in any city that you go to. If you go and attach yourselves to shitty people, you're going out and trying to make friends by, you know, participating in nightlife and going to clubs and bars. Like, bro, obviously, any city you go to, you're gonna meet shitty people, you know? LA, for sure, is entertainment driven. So people who are in acting, music, who are in, you know, any form of social media and stuff like that. So for sure, there's gonna be more of those kinds of people but California is huge, bro. There's so many people here. Like, I've met so many like dope ass people living here. Go out, I don't drink, I don't party, and I literally stay with like within a small circle. But if I'm, you know, always at the gym or I'm at work or I'm just putting myself in healthy environments, then most likely I'm gonna meet people who have somewhat of a similar mindset, you know? You just gotta be careful with where you're spending your time, you know, where you're looking to you know, make friends and stuff like that. It's like that in any city. All right. You guys know I'm all about making my own breakfast, but considering Ali gave me a bunch of different meals, we're gonna go ahead and do some pancakes and scrambled eggs today. It's just a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Although, I'll say to you guys, if you ever get balsamic vinegar, Try to get the better quality one that's like a thicker kind of reduction. You'll know if it's a cheap quality, like shittier balsamic when it's really thin and kind of watered down. It should be nice and kind of thick and syrupy like that. It'll almost have like a little bit of sweetness to it as well. Mm. All right. Small avocado, looks like a little bit of chicken or turkey sausage, I'm not sure. Scrambled eggs, a couple of protein pancakes. This should hold us down most of the day. I'm gonna bring a meal to work today, for sure. I'm gonna finish up this meal right here, and then I'll see you guys at work. fit check office hours fit check we got the new three-quarter zip sherpa fleece check out the details rocking that with the black canvas work pant give you guys another look black canvas work pant with the sherpa fleece got my bose headphones because i'm doing some editing today you guys see it all right about to lock in get some work done I'm gonna heat up a little lunch. Shout out Ali. All right guys, truthfully I was planning on getting a run done today. It's supposed to be my last chill run of the week. Honestly, it's getting a little bit too late because I got treatment tonight. Still gotta walk Kobe. And then I gotta make it to Kai's for poker night with the boys, so. You know, only so much you can do in a day, right? We did try our best. You can't say we didn't try our best. I for sure feel like I could go log this run right now if I didn't have 
physiotherapy. God damn, look at this sunset, bro. guys we're heading home your boy lost tonight not too crazy it was just kind of up and down first night back how do you know dust off a little bit of rust but uh it's fucking late to be honest 1 30 right now been up since 5 30 i'm fucking cooked and i have a golf lesson tomorrow at 10 a.m i don't know why i booked the 10 a.m bro we're gonna see how i feel in the morning anyways i'll see you guys in the morning your boy got some golf tomorrow I gotta dial back in this game, baby. It's been a long ass time since I played, and I feel like I just, you know, wanna do one lesson to kinda, you know, get my stroke back. Honestly, I'm fucking cooked, trying to stay awake, not falling asleep at the wheel right now, and I will see you guys tomorrow.